Hello, YouTubers. The new Time Travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And today, we're continuing to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And I'm reviewing another second Doctor adventure. It is Doctor Who, The Dominators. Well, this is a fantastic story. I really love it. It is very underrated. This five-part adventure originally transmitted on August 10th through September 7th, 1968. And this is the first Doctor Who story to open up the sixth season. So the main character of the story is the evil dominators known as the Quacks. And the two leaders, as Rago and Toba, they're the main enemies of the characters of the story. And their plan is to suck out their draining energy life forms on the planet Dalkis. That's when a spacecraft lands on the island on the planet, separating from its fleet. And by energy source, by drilling through the planetary crust, which is the thinnest part of the planet. However, the island is an authorized trip. It is a pilot by Curly, the son of director, the high-ranking members of the Dawkins Council. The passengers include three Dawkins who think Curly has conned them with the find out of there is no radiation on the planet, but it is. However, they are soon to be killed by the Quarks, the order by Toba. He has not seen them as thus he survives. Meanwhile, on the sec the TARDIS crew land outside and the doctor assume they are for a nice holiday a peaceful. While the doctor relaxes on the deck chair, Jamie blows up a beach ball and gives them to him by the doctor. Unfortunately, the doctor, Jamie, and Zoe find a war museum with the old laser gun where they meet an educator, Balhan, and his two students, Cato and Teal, who takes the TARDIS crew to a survey unit for decontamination. Thank you, there he, I, I said it right. However, the, the strangers are not ready at all. And they tell them that the only nuclear blast on the island is experimental, conducted 172 years ago, after which weapons are banned on Dawkins, and the island were kept an observation area for researchers and students. The Dominators have began to drill through the planet's surface as the dominators near the tar have observed the dominator near the TARDIS and find his way to the shelters and warm the people that the warlike newcomers. However, they, the doctor and Jamie Lee, they soon find themselves at the dominator spacecraft, threatened by Toba and the Quarks. Meanwhile, the doctor and Jamie are un a place under arrest. And they're taken on a dominator ship as prisoners as when they force off the test. Carly and Zoe set off for the capital of Dawkins in a Balin traveling capsule when they attempt to make consul and director Sinek, understanding the threat posed by the dominators, this fall on Death's ear. But the main enemy who's nesting their vipers, who cannot be trusted. At the War Museum, the Dominators test the Doctor and Jamie with their reaction to the weapons there. The Doctor said, There are two types of Dawkins, the clever one, who's built the new outlaw weapons, and like him and Jamie, to satisfy Rego and then set them free. To warn to stay away from the Dominators mining. 
Meanwhile, Cully and Zoe returned back to the island to, in order to find proof of Cully's story. While the Doctor and Jamie heads to the capital with another travel capsule, Teal and Kendall had now verified Cully's story. The Doctor and Jamie leave with Bat and to witness this themselves in a very non dulcan manner. However, the Dominator exam they found to be a clever one possible suitable for slave laborers. Zoe and Corey arrives at the survey unit just in time for the quad start to destruction as a place ordered by Toba. Uh-oh, that's the main target. The Doctor and Jamie are, have arrived on the capital with their pleas to pacify. The dog clans are still in doubt with aggressive Dominator. State that the strangers are quite welcome to drill the planetary crust. But Zoe and Coley, Teal, Candle, and are now being tested for the suitability to, to slay labor in order to clear the rubble out of the area in front of the war museum with Toba and Quark's guard them. However, overheard, Jamie and the doctor have seen the destroying survey unit on a monitor screen at the Capitol and now rushing back to the capsule to see if Zoe is all right. They realize the court may be waiting for them, so the doctor altered the capsule flight plans and lands on them elsewhere on the island. They start searching for Zoe and the Dalkans while continuing their exhausted tax on the work at the War Museum. Zoe managed to distract the Quarks. Meanwhile, the doctor is captured by Toba, who's now found out about Coley's disappearance. Coley is spotted inside the war machine. He is surrendered. Jamie shoots down a quark, which leads them to destruction of the remainder of the people. Parts, I mean, the remainder part of the museum is ordered by Toba. Toba is now certain of rebellion. The Dalkans, the Dalkans are dead. Rago is dissatisfied with Toba's action and a power fuel ensure. Rago wins and orders Toba to oversee the drilling. However, the only vent blocked them when they remove the counts removed from the rubble. And the doctor shows him how to get to the capital inside the traveling capsule. The doctor and, and Zoe stay behind the Dominator ship under Quark's guard, the Quark's guard. The necessary d diversion is provided when Jamie and the Cole, and Cully, or Cully, how you pronounce the name, had mapped out the drilling sites and numbered the Quarks on the planet, destroying another Quarks by dropping a huge rock on it. Tobit, I mean, to I mean Toba, and the Quark is a merely investigation. So, for the dissipation, disappearance of radiation on the island, Toba has halted the drilling and insert that the quark seeks out one of that attack. So, as a stalk will not, the Dalkans who will not will become slave will die on their own planet. Rago orders Sinek to start selecting the suitable slaves and leave. The doctor. Zoe and the Dalkans who destroyed the Quarks. Balan is killed with no answer for coming, and the next the, the Doctor is next to be t the target. The Doctor and Zoe are taken to the drill site, and Jamie and Cully attack the Quarks, who is guarding the prisoners and take them friends to the atomic shelter. Toba once again finding the troublemakers, but Rago commands him to use the Quarks for only for drilling as their power levels are too low. They will all die on the planet. The doctor is now aware that the the, the patterns of the explains the dominator's plan to other entire planet. Once the atomic seed device detonated inside the volcano, the entire planet will turn to radioactive. However, the doctor plans to prepare for a bomb for the medical kit inside.
However, the doctor creates a volcanic rupture. He orders Jamie and Zoe return to the TARDIS to retreat the capital. As the doctor runs in there, the rocket the rush to the TARDIS. When he creates a lava, as a Jamie took, asked the doctor to hurry up as the molten lava comes straight towards inside. So, the main character, in my opinion, for this story, never trust somebody that you may know the enemy. So, the main enemy is Toba and the four quarks. So, my opinion of the story, this is uh, another well favorite classic Patrick Troughton story ever. And I enjoyed it. This is a magnificent story. Three of the best ever episode. I give this story a well meaning a mile ten out of ten for me, for my opinion of the story. Nine. So let's take a look on the DVD features. Here's the still pictures from the story. On the DVD features, we have audio commentary by actors Fraser Hine, Wendy Padbury, and Giles Block, and Arthur Cox. A makeup designer, Sylvia James, moderated by Toby Haddock. Recharge and Requibilize. Plus, Tomorrow's Times, The Second Doctor, presented by Caroline John, the late Caroline John. Photo gallery, PDF materials, and so forth. Here's the dicks for the story. This adventure was never screened on Australia TV due to some censorship problems. This story, five part story, was heavily edited on Kenneth on the in America on YTV in 1991. Yep, this story was heavily edited because it was deemed inappropriate. They want to make it suitable for younger audience. Well, that's it for this Doctor Who DVD review. And make sure if you want, if you have a Doctor Who DVD review that you would like me to request, feel free to drop a comment down below or leave a video response. Our next Doctor Who DVD review is Emily of the World. This is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying so long. And make sure to follow me on Facebook.